Happy New Year! Happy New Year, Megan. Welcome to Weekly Geek. 2013. You've been doing some YouTube work for the library. We have. Let's check it out. So we're really excited about this. I have created a YouTube site for the library. Um, it is on, if you just type in Lamoille Library, it'll come up. And we have bookmarking our databases and health and wellness resource center so far. These are just quick little tutorials, show you how to do some kind of finicky stuff mm -hmm. with their databases and stuff. So check them out. They'll be there and we'll be coming out with new ones. That's great. Yeah. Keep I'm an excited. eye on the Lamoille Library YouTube channel. Yeah. Fantastic. And we've been playing a little bit with a uh, new Google app, Google, uh, the, the, the Google search, the Google search yep. app. A little bit different than Drive, but it's pretty fun. It is pretty fun. It's pretty cool. And and so here's our uh, here's our, our Google app right here, and we're gonna check it out. Yep. And I'm just gonna speak into it. I'm gonna choose voice, molybdenum. There you go. It's perfect for like Wikipedia. Molybdenum is a group six chemical element with the simple mo and atomic number 42. So it talks to you even. It talks, and it gets, brings you right there. So for those kids yep. who have trouble spelling molybdenum or something like that, yep. or potassium, or any difficult uh, name even that's recognizable in Wikipedia. Right. It'll really help. And you know, I've been talking with kids and, and a lot of kids who do, it really stalls them out. They right. really like the, that feature and a couple of them have been using it really well. Yep. And it's portable iPad. So. Portable. And it's kind of got a little cool factor too. Yeah, it's a really little cool. engagement motivation thing. Yeah. And there's another part of Google that we've been playing with. Okay. It's called Google Goggles. And you can take over there. All right. It's a visual recognition thing. And so, for example, if you find something that you want to do a search of, Air server's going. but you're not sure what's going on with it, Megan's going to bring Air Server back up again here. All right. So here we are, Megan, and we are on this other really cool app here. Yep. And it's called Goggles. It's called Google Goggles. Find it the same place. Just go to Google. And you can take a picture of something. This. Even if it's on its side, that's cool. Yeah. <laughs> Even if it's on its side, wherever it is. And it comes up with, look at that, it did a search for it right there, man. Yep. So I can come up with that. So this is a... Found the exact painting. Found the exact painting information about it. So very cool if you're doing research with books, right. art, or if you just have something in a book that you want more information of, especially a picture or something like that in a textbook, it'd be a great way to uh, to go ahead and do that. Yeah, it's really cool. Really very, very, very cool things. And, you know, trying to make it easier and easier to do these searches and get information, which is yep. fantastic. So a couple of cool tricks. Plus, they're kind of... They're kind of fun, they're too. Fun, yeah. They're kind of fun, which is great. So a couple of other things I really want to talk about here um, is a couple of options for midterms. Yeah. Uh, you know, people have been using Haiku. Great. My goal is to have everybody use Haiku at least once before the end of the semester. So we're getting to push come to shove time there. Right. Come so on, guys. We can do it. It's not that hard. 20 minutes we can set you up with a class, and I can help right. out with it a little bit, which is, uh, which is fantastic. Definitely. Um, so a couple of options. A lot of clickers have been signed out already. Okay. We have a multiple choice test. It's real easy to use the clickers to have it grade for you, and kids really like getting their grades for that part of the test right away. Right. A couple of teachers have been using Haiku for that too. You have to key in a little bit more for Haiku, so it's a little harder if you have a paper test. Yeah. But it's another option that if you want to invest some time up front, like you might use the exam again, again, and yeah, again. Yeah, that makes sense. So if you want to invest the time now, it's 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 a pretty slick little uh, little thing to do. And then the other thing I really wanted to show off real quick here is some work that. Uh, uh, Sarah Reed and I have been doing with Haiku. We put a couple of classes up there, posted a bunch of projects, and then we wanted the kids to do sort of an evaluation of it. Right. So all I did, and you know how it's hard sometimes to get a, kids to do a link? Yep. They all got on their <laughs> Haiku page, they know it so. through their Gmail and stuff, and then they just went over here and they filled out, these are all the projects right here. Awesome. They went over and just filled out this uh, peer evaluation that we set up on this beautiful little um, Ooh, uh, form. form yep. Now the cool part for Sarah is that it comes out as a spreadsheet. So for her, she doesn't have to go through all the paper and everything like that, and all right. the comments and everything come out that way, and it's sortable yeah. too. That's so, great. So and your could, names are right there. You can get your what they said. That's perfect. That's right. It's a it's a great thing. Um, and then I'm also going to attach um, uh, the more conversation about our one to one stuff. Okay. I'm going to attach a little survey here about uh, device characteristics. So. Okay what people think are important about devices, feel free to fill that out and stuff and we'll... Because we know you all have opinions. <laughs> we know you all have opinions, time to get them out there. And then on Monday at the faculty meeting, we'll be having another little conversation about one-to-ones. So feel free to shoot me or anybody else questions you think are pertinent or really important. I'm trying to develop as many resources as I can so that we're as prepared as we can to, uh, to move forward with this when it happens. Great, and if you have any um, questions or anything, feel free to email us. 
and like tutorials if you want me to do any tutorials for your classes or for you personally let me know and i'll shoot the video out there and that's fine that goes true for me too yeah. all right okay have a fantastic uh, weekend bye guys